So today, um, I want to talk to you guys about the importance of silence on semen retention. Um, silence is a very, very important aspect of our life as humans, you know. Um, I don't know, but I think a lot of people tend to be afraid of silence, you know. Um, for example, <coughs> when you are having a conversation with somebody and and there is a point there is there comes a point where both of you has to be like silent for a bit you know uh, you tend to notice that there's a little bit of uncomfortableness to it you know like uh, there something just makes you uncomfortable about being silent you know so um on semen retention, what you're going to notice is the fact that you're no longer afraid of being silent in uh, in a conversation or just being by yourself, you know, because um, one thing you're going to see on semen retention is the fact that um, you start to love your own company more. You would prefer to stay by yourself for a longer period of time than to spend a lot of time with people simply for the fact that now you you are no longer running from yourself you know previously when you were releasing all the time that was a form of escape that was a form of running from yourself that was a form of not wanting to face your demons but now that you fo you finally been able to look at your demons in the eye and say enough is enough you are going to notice that you are able to be with your thoughts you are able to be by yourself and by doing that constantly you tend to find out that uh, the more you embrace being by yourself the more you are comfortable in your skin and being comfortable in your skin comes with the fact that you are comfortable with your thoughts you know your thoughts are not um, adding more negativity into your life rather your thoughts are uplifting you because uh, we become what we think mostly so the more positive thoughts you have the more self-love you're going to exhibit in yourself and the more self-love you have in yourself the more you are okay being on your own because now you are self-validated now you don't need anybody to validate your existence you don't need anybody to validate your presence in order to make you feel like you are a human being in order to make you feel like you are worthy of being here in the first place you know So you are going to notice the fact that in conversations, you're able to just be silent, you know, you're able to just be um, present, you're paying close attention to what this person is saying, and this person also knows the fact, and you can feel the fact that this person I'm talking to is listening to me, simply because you have embraced silence in your life on this journey how does this silence come about usually silence comes from meditation and by silence i just don't mean being quiet i mean this inner quietness you develop inner quietness on semen retention because you have to understand the fact that um, before when you were consuming all this content you uh, you were polluting your mind per se you, you if, if 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 you have dirty water you were, when, whenever you shake like if, let's say you have mud on the water and then the water is clear the water on top is clear if you put your hand in the muddy water and shake it you're going to notice the fact that everything becomes dirty now let's take this to this scenario you know where the mud is the site and the clear water on top of it is your mind 
the moment you engage the two of them by let's say for the water by shaking the water you are going to notice the fact that it becomes dirty same thing happens with your mind your mind becomes foggy so you're unable to think straight you know and in you not being able to think straight because of a lot of thoughts running in your head at the same time you're going to notice the fact that you are not able you're not going to be able to be by yourself for a very long time you know you're not going to be able to enjoy your own company for a very long time because you you would always want to distract yourself with something you know so um through meditation you are going to notice the fact that you tend to quiet your mind plus semen retention is a very good enhancer to get into a, a meditative state you know on this journey you are going to be on a meditative state for most like period of the time you know like most of the most of the time you are going to be in a meditative state you know? just doing your day-to-day -day activities but you are going to notice that you are very present during those activities you know it's because you are no longer polluting your mind your mind is now clear it's simple it can be seen through you can see through things you know you can perceive things the way they are supposed to be just like the muddy water once the mud settles you can see your reflection in the water you know you are not just you are no longer blind the water is no longer see through now you can see through it therefore uh, you are going to notice the fact that um, everything in your life just becomes clear you know you see the path you are supposed to take in life you see where you are supposed to go to just because you are observing silence you know also um silence is a good form of how do i say it self-control you know uh, silence uh, through silence you can also develop self-control you know uh, we live in a society where um, we are encouraged you know to share information 24 7 you know we're encouraged to share a lot about ourselves 24 7 uh, which for me i don't think is really a smart thing to do you know because um, I mean, I'm not saying do not share any information about you, but uh, know what and when you are sharing or where you are sharing what you are sharing because uh, you could be sharing the wrong information um, at the right place. By wrong information at the right place, you know what I mean? Um, you could be overspilling and then it gets used against you later in the future you know but in that moment you were saying it with like open good intention and in that place it was the right moment to say it, but it was the wrong thing to say because in the future it's going to be used against you definitely you know so silence is going to help you develop self-control and in developing this self-control you are going to notice the fact that um, there are some things that are better left unsaid than said because once they are said they can never be taken back you know so um, yes I would say semen retention and silence is a very powerful practice because um, it, it just brings you closer to yourself you know it makes you get in touch with the real you it, 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 it brings you closer to nature, it brings you closer to earth, you know? especially if you are meditating with this journey and fasting as well. If you are fasting and meditating, then this journey is going to be the best thing that has ever happened to you in life, man. The best fucking thing that has ever happened to you in life. So, yes. Um, learn to practice silence also learn to practice silence when people are trying to irritate you when people are trying to get on your nerves you know um, look to me i believe everybody knows what they are doing you know people know that what they are doing is going to probably make you angry you know it's going to probably get you to react in a certain way that they want you to react but what what you are going to notice on this journey is the fact that uh, when you start responding to people with silence you know when you start responding to people with um, 
indifference per se just being indifferent to people you know you don't hate these people you don't like them but not that you don't like them sorry i mean you don't hate them and um you're not trying to be loved by them as well i don't know if you get what i'm trying to say you know like like you are all good regardless man yeah like nothing is you people are not fighting there's no there's no beef you know but then if these people tend to bring um negative energy towards you uh, and you give them silence you're going to notice the fact that these people um, they're just going to leave you after some time you know because now they understand the fact that <laughs> this person is not even reacting to my bullshit you know and if there's one thing that pisses toxic people off is the fact that uh, they cannot get you to emotionally react to because that emotional reaction validates their would i want to say power per se you know the fact that you react emotionally to whatever it is that they do to you shows them that they have some type of influence and power over you and therefore they are going to continue doing it but if you give them total silence, man, you know, and if they say hi to you the next day, you reply hi, you know, it's just going to confuse them because uh, you're not reacting the way they expect you to react, you know. And silence, they, there's nothing you you can't battle silence, man. There's nothing you can say about silence. You can't fight silence. You know? Like, there's nothing. You just can't do anything about silence. Silence is silence. It is what it is, you know. And that is what toxic people hate the most, you know, the fact that you are bothered by their bullshit. They hate that, you know, because you are trying to just tell them that they have no power, you know, they have no influence, you know, they are just, they are, they are a baby to you, like, <laughs> what they are doing does not face you, you know. So, yeah, um, practice silence, guys. Practice silence on this journey, man, and you see how 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 better your life is going to become just once once you notice any bullshit anything that does not favor you just give it silence man you know? that also has to do with your thoughts you know once you notice that you're thinking about things that uh, are not even uplifting your spirit in the moment become silent to it you know by silent i mean ignore it kind of you know just understand the fact that you are the one who is going to give it power the same thing applies with toxic people you are the one who give their actions power you give their actions power by reacting to it you know so yes if you want to make them powerless just um don't react man yeah just uh, no reaction needed just do your own thing man no reaction needed so guys um, i love you it's 4 a.m i'm still feeling sleepy man yeah I'm still feeling fucking sleepy and now i need to go inside and get ready for the day so i'm going to see you guys later love you